Well, six barges carrying tons of coal are now at the bottom of the Ohio River. After a towboat hit the Second Street Bridge one week ago, three barges are still stuck on the dam at the Falls of the Ohio. Dennis Ting went down to the river today to check on those barges, and it turns out you weren't the only one there, Dennis. Well, that's right, Lisa. There was a steady stream of people along the Ohio River, some even walking all the way down to the fence next to the dam, trying to get a photo of the coal barges. Many were trying to see the unusual sight for themselves, but some are worried about the possible effects of the coal in the river. It's hard to miss the large barges filled with coal floating by the dam at the falls of the Ohio. And for many, it's interesting enough to get a closer look. It's a sight to see. I mean, you got the, the coal just sitting there and the water rising, and it's actually really nice. But not everyone thinks it's a pretty view. It's a horrible sight to see. You know, I love the river. I, I hate the pollution that's down here, and, you know, that just adds to it. Last Tuesday, a towboat carrying 15 barges loaded with tons and tons of coal crashed into the Second Street Bridge, breaking the barges free. Six of the barges have been recovered, six have sunk, spilling their loads of coal into the water. Three of the barges are stuck on the falls, including one in the gates of the dam. Honestly, I'm kind of upset. You know, it's like I just want to know who messed up and for one, how bad is it going to mess up the environment? It's an important question for Devin Thomas, who spends a lot of his time fishing along the Ohio near the falls. I grew up on this river. I've never left this area and I want to see it grow and develop. I want to see it beautiful and I want to see it prosper. And that is not helping. That does not help. Tennessee Valley Towing, the company that owns the tow boat, is working with salvage teams, along with the Army Corps of Engineers and the Coast Guard, on recovering and removing the barges from the river. The Coast Guard says heavy equipment is expected to arrive Wednesday evening, and crews will assess when conditions will be good enough to begin that salvage process. It's not even about it affecting me. It's about the environment to me, you know, but that's a pretty big mess up. I hope they can get most of it done. The Coast Guard told me today there are many things that can affect the conditions, including the heavy rains that hit Kentuckiana on New Year's Eve, but they hope they can get to work as soon as possible. Dennis Ting, 11 at 11.